I'm going to go through a couple, couple of options for adding uh, cameras to iSpy. Uh, this is using a D-Link uh, DCS uh, 2530L. Uh, we're going to go add IP camera with wizard. Going to do a search for it. Oops, that's the wrong one. There we go. Put in username and password for the webcam, IP address, and it'll come up with the feed. This is default JPEG feed. And here you can modify options, uh, sizes, uh, all that kind of thing. We're just going to leave it like that for now. And we're going to leave all this default because this isn't a setting we're going to use. But you could go through, you can set your motion detection, how you want to do the detector, alerts, the recording, where you want to record, uh, storage. So, in a nutshell, this is using uh, the default JPEG feed. So, you can see that the quality is not very great. You see lots of JPEG compression all around. So, I'm going to remove this. Switch it off, it makes it go faster. Okay, so what I actually want to do is a much higher quality stream. Um, and in the uh, in my blog post, uh, I've pre-configured the RTS streams uh, for 1280 by 720. Uh, and uh, it's a constant bit rate of 1 megabit per uh, one megabit for constant bit rate. So I'm going to add the camera. I want to do VLC plugin. So you got to put in any username, password for the camera, the IP address, and port, and which um, live stream you want. In which case, uh, my camera has three different ones. So I'm going to select live one, but I could select two or three. I'm just going to leave it as camera two. I'm going to go into the options. I want it to resize to 1280 by 720 because that's what I have it set to. And hit OK. And then I'm going to hit finish. And you can go through all the uh, new. So here it is, right here. Let's fix that. Now this is running on a Windows 8 VM. There we go. That's better. So you can see the quality is much better. You don't have the JPEG compression. I can actually um, edit this. So let's go live stream. 
2. And with it reconnected, it's uh, 1280 by 720. So you can see the video quality is still extremely clear. And that's what we're going to use for recording. And you'll note that the frames per second is up to 7 frames per second, as before it was about 1, 1 1.12 frames per second. And if we wanted to, we could record the sound, have it activate on sound. And in here, for the camera, when you go to edit, uh, you can define the storage. You can define the storage directory, storage management. If you want to keep it for a number of days, uh, upload it to the server, save images, how you want to do the recording. And that concludes the tutorial on iSpy.